Hi, this is Carl Hendricks with HK Laundry Equipment, and we're here to talk about EDL errors. An EDL error is an error in a Hipsch Galaxy or a Speed Queen quantum washer where the door does not lock. What happens is we've gotten the proper vend, customers push the start button, but for whatever reason the door in the washer does not lock, thus creating the EDL error. The EDL error is a fatal machine error. Fatal meaning that to recover from this, you need to power down the micro and then turn it back on again. Uh, that's the only way the machine will be able to get in the ready mode again and for a customer to use it. In an unattended store, if a customer gets an EDL error, it's a fatal error, and what they need to do is move their clothes to another machine and then start all over again. The door lock assembly here has a double activating coil. It's got a door switch and it's got a door lock switch. As the door closes, you'll notice down here that this switch closes and we create the circuit. It then will send a signal up to the machine. It'll then send a pulse to this double activating coil. It will shoot across. It will then lock the door. Okay, and you'll also see that this switch closes the circuit for the door lock circuit. At the end of the cycle, pulse of electricity gets sent to the coil door gets unlocked and we can open the door and away we go. Okay, specifically with the EDL errors, what happens is instead of the door handle being perfectly lined up, it's actually sagged. Many times when people lean on doors, uh, the kids will hang on them, the door gets lower and lower and you can see here that the cone instead of being fitting right into the center of this hole is actually dropping lower and lower. You can see the telltale sign it's an indication that the door is out of alignment. And so what we need to do is just raise up the door. Okay, to raise the door, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, a 7 16 ratchet. We're just going to loosen the four nuts that hold the door to the door hinge. And then with our knee, we're just gonna lift up the door and then we're just going to tighten them down again. Since the bolts are actually carriage bolts, you don't need to put your hand on the other side. And we just tighten all four of them up, make them fairly snug, and there we go. Now you can tell when the door is properly adjusted, when you close it, there's no metal on metal sound. All you're doing is you're actually hitting the center of the receiver. Okay, on a misadjusted washer, you hear that? What's happening is the cone here is actually hitting the bottom of the receiver. And so when that happens, that's the metal on metal sound. Okay, so you can very easily walk down your whole store and determine which doors need to be adjusted and which don't. And we would highly recommend that you do this on a monthly basis. So in summary, the EDL error is caused by where the door does not lock. Typically people are leaning on the door, they're hanging on it, kids are hanging on it, and what happens is the door sags and it gets out of alignment with the door lock and coil. To rectify this very easily, just take a 7 16 socket, loosen the four nuts on the door hinge, they connect it to the door, raise up the door, tighten it again, and that should solve your problem. You can very easily check your whole store by just going through and just closing the doors, and if it's a metal on metal hit, then it probably does need to be adjusted. If it's relatively soft, if it feels like the gasket is hitting before anything else, then you're in good shape. This is Carl with HK Laundry Equipment. I want to thank you, and hopefully this has been helpful. Please send your comments to carl at hklaundry.com. Thank you.